Tony, welcome to the Not Legacy Show. Thank You're you. Thanks for inviting me. Tony Fernandez, everyone knows him, CEO of AirAsia. Uh, you started from a music industry background, and here you are making one of the largest LCCs and one of the most successful low cost carriers in the world, not just Asia. How do you do that with no experience? Well, you know, good people, surrounded by good people, uh, the ability to think differently. Yep. Sometimes that helps that you don't come from the airline industry, they think differently. But good people, fierce determination, right. and a product that people want. Right. Well, when you say good people, you know, everyone from Munching, who was a journalist, to Kathleen, who was from the music industry, you know, these people did not have airline experience. Wasn't that a handicap starting out? No, no. I mean, I, I wanted to have people who th thought differently. AirAsia wouldn't be the way it is if we thought like traditional legacy airlines. Right. So uh, I wanted to think differently. Obviously, pilots are pilots and engineers are engineers. Yep. But we also got a lot of help from uh, Conor McCarthy at Ryanair right. that helped us. But I deliberately went out to get people who weren't from the music industry. Correct. What was the one thing you did differently at AirAsia which you think was critical in the success? I really think the way we manage people. Yeah. Um, anyone can start a low-cost carrier. There are thousands of books about it, a million MBA students. I think um, the way we manage people, the way we have 14,000 staff with no unions, um, the way that we can take someone who had no experience into a very senior job, right. um, gave us that edge. We have that unique ability to do things when people just give up. Right, so it's really about the culture that you're talking 100%, about. 100%, 100% the culture. So anyone can emulate me. I mean, people saw me running around in a t-shirt and a cap and thought, wow, this is easy to do, right? It's not so easy in reality. Right. Uh, I think the difference between a successful airline and, a, and, and one that isn't is uh, people. Right. How do you think the AirAsia Indonesia accident changed you personally? Well, I mean, it's a, a horrific time in my life, probably the most horrific time in my life. It, it, it changed me in that I was more determined to make AirAsia the very best in whatever it did. Right. Um, it, it brought a sense of reality, you know. You can go through years and years and years of success. Right. But we're in a business that can lose people's lives, as we did, and it, mm -hmm. it had a very profound effect on me. Do you do anything differently now than you did before? No, yeah. I think we are, we are the same. Um, we do nothing differently. We, safety is a, is a continuing process. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a marathon, it's not something that can be done in a day. Right, right. So we don't do anything differently, but uh, it has shown me the, the meaning of life, mm -hmm. and uh, it's made a big difference in my life. Yeah. How do you think the next 10 years of AirAsia are going to be different from the first 10? Wow, well we've had 14. So, you know, the next <laughs> 10 from there. You know, I think we're evolving into something that no one else has done. We're, we're going to create these hubs, these fly-through yep. hubs. Yep. Um, we're going to make Asia a smaller place. Uh, you know, I think eventually we'll be in every continent, at least one flight. That'd be a dream. That's great. I've always said I'll retire when I'm playing football in the Copacabana. <laughs> um, and I think we'll just keep growing and making, make flying simply. Uh, allow people to right. fly simpler flyingly. Mm, very nice um, to hear that. A lot of technology. We right. use a lot of technology. Absolutely. Making flying simple, making sure low cost doesn't mean low quality, yeah. using technology to make flying more fun. This is brilliant. Now the next round is called rapid fire round. Okay. You can only reply in one word. Okay. I'll give you two sometimes. Okay. Okay, and, and we'll go quick. It's one minute. Okay. okay. Uh, favorite football team? Queen's Power Rangers. If not QPR. Queen's Power Rangers. If not, <laughs> Queen's Power Rangers. <laughs> All right, you, that's a loaded question then. Favorite long haul airline? Not low cost. Ah, probably, probably Etihad. Okay, that's that's uh, affirmation for them. Um, the best piece of advice you've received in your career? Um, don't be too ambitious. Take things slowly. Don't run before you can walk. Which business are you in? Airline. Airline business. Okay. The best advice you would give to your daughter, whom you're obviously very much in love with. <laughs> and never give up in whatever you do. Live your dreams. And what would you advise, finally, to your 20-year-old <laughs> self? To my 20-year-old self? Do exactly, like yesterday. Do exactly <laughs> as I do. Maybe keep my mouth shut once in a while. <laughs> On that, advice for MAHB? Close down. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tony. And Thank continue you. on your not legacy ways. Cheers, thanks, thanks very much. much.